Hi, today I'm going to show you how to build a miniature airport control tower. The kit that you got comes with plans for a small and a tall control tower. The first thing you need to do is to print the PDF file that you downloaded in some sort of thick paper such as cardstock. Before we get started, there's a couple of things that I want you to know. First, these are the tools that you're going to need for this project. A sharp X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors, glue stick, some sort of all-purpose glue, tape, a metal ruler, and a cutting board. Next, I want to show you the difference between a score and a cut. On the file that you're going to get, you're going to get something like this where you have solid lines for cuts and dotted lines for scores. When you make a cut, you want to line up both of the solid lines and make a cut. You put enough force to get the blade all the way through. When you're doing a score, same thing, you want to line up your dotted lines, but instead of a lot of force, you want to do a very light cut. You don't want it to go through the paper. What happens is when you want to make a corner, after you score it, you're going to get a very nice sharp corner. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build the small tower today. Building the tall one is exactly the same process, so just building one will show you how to build the second one. So let's get started. We're going to do the small tower today. I like to start doing my scores first. Score is when you make a cut that doesn't go all the way through the paper, so when you fold it you have a nice straight uh, edge. So you'll see that all the scores have dotted lines. What you need to do is put your X-Acto knife blade on the dotted line of the score, put your ruler against it, then you find the corresponding score line on the other side, line them up, and just make a very very light cut. So now we're going to go through all the different score lines on this page and make that cut. This one has a lot of score lines so it's going to take a little while but it's going to come out really nice. So again, very, very light. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on your blade. So a lot of smaller score lines here. Okay, when we get to the top here, you'll see there's a lot of lines in here, it gets a little bit confusing. Basically, we're going to do a score underneath the flap part, so this little flap can bend. So again, what you need to do is put the, the blade on the first score mark and then look for the corresponding one right over here and just score underneath that flap. You don't want to go across the other one. If you do, it's no big deal. But you, you know, you try to avoid it. So you find the next one. Find the next one and just do a 
a light score. And you find the next one with the next one, score. The next one, and the next one, score. A couple more. Now the next score is going to be from the bottom here all the way across to the top. So put your blade right over there, find this score line, and then score. Go back to the other one. And score. Now the next one, score, go to the next one, score, and the last one, and score. So that's it for all the scoring on this page. Okay, so now with the uh, scoring done, we're going to start the cutting. You want to follow this time all the solid lines. There's other ones that show you where the cuts are. So let's start with these three guys first. So now here you do go all the way across the page. These are the tops and the bottoms of the tower. And then this bottom line right here lines up with all three. So this will be just one continuous cut. Okay. So this is three pieces. Now, to do these little tabs, you can either cut the square first and then use the scissors to do the cut or like I'm going to do, use your knife. It's a little quicker doing it this way and you don't have to be that specific. So just do your cuts. Like I said, precision here doesn't really matter. Because these will be hidden. Use these guys to glue the whole thing together. It's just a little quicker doing it this way. Okay, so with those done, then we line up our lines again put your blade there line it up with the other one right over there and make your cut 
same over here. Line it up with the other one. And then line up this one and this one. And these last two. So you see these guys come right off. Okay. Now let's do this one. I know, I know it's a lot of cutting, but you'll see when the finished product is done, it's going to look really good. Okay. And here we go again. Okay, so here's the next piece. And last but not least, the top of the control tower. Okay, so now we're going to go to the top of the flap and you'll find the two solid lines and that's where you make your cut. Right there, right there, and kind of go around doing the top of the flaps. Okay, and that is that's the last piece. Let's take these guys out. So here are all your pieces cut out. So our next step is the final assembly. So for the final assembly we start with the tower part, this guy here. What we want to do is we want to fold. You can see it folds very nice where we did the scores. Then we get some tape. We get a piece of tape and put it one of the corners here. Then we bend that one in, and then we go two here and bend them over, and it's gonna come together here very nicely. So you push in, make sure the tape gets in there, and this is the the tower part. Now we 
fold in the flaps on both sides okay you can use either one for top or bottom it doesn't matter so now let's get some glue and put a dab of glue on each one of the tabs now we get our bottom part, you see the little lines in there they're going to line up with each one of the corners so what you need to do is to put this guy in there and then just uh, kind of play with it you know push it in a little bit and get it all get it all to lined up you know just go around and push some of the corners in and as the glue sets then this thing is going to uh, settle down once you get to the point where you like where it is then you may want to take a pencil and with the eraser just kind of make sure the flaps are making contact just kind of tap on the flaps inside so that's going to help them make good contact so again just kind of go around get it all lined up and that's your base right there you want to keep to keep some of the excess glue off okay so that's the first part the next part is the the top same thing you want to fold 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 get a smaller piece of tape to put around the top here and like before you fold one and then you fold two and you press and then you're gonna get uh, sort of like a cone like an ice cream cone so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the flaps and then put a little glue and now you're going to take the big part here, the black one, put it upside down uh, and this one is going to go here. I don't have any lines here to line it up, but you can just by, by looking at it, you can line it up pretty good. Okay, you want to leave a, about a quarter inch lip all the way around. Now take care of some of the excess glue. So you see just just about a square in, I mean a quarter inch. You see? So just make sure it's all lined up. Press a little bit here. And that's your top. So now we go back to the tower. And we put some glue on these tabs. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this top and put it in here and then line it up. Okay. 
is make sure that it's, it's straight. It sort of lines up and it becomes parallel. Okay. Okay, so the last piece is the top. So we get a little piece of tape. You may need to trim it. And then you put it here, like before. You bend one, and then you bend two. Make sure they, they align. <clears throat> and then you bend all the little tabs. So let's start by putting a little glue here. And then take the top, turn it around, and then glue this to the top. Make sure that it lines up. Again, there's a little bit of a lip about an eighth of an inch that you're gonna see. Let's get rid of some of the excess glue. <clears throat> and like before, once everything is lined up the way that you like, then you can take a pencil and just press on the tabs to make sure they make good contact. Okay, so now that that's done, then we put a little glue on these tabs. And then we glue this to the top. Just make sure you align it. press on it for the glue to set and you're set your control tower for your model airport is done good luck